<laughs> okay, so tell us when you're ready. Oh, it's been a person. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> I've worked for Durham for over 11 years now, and I came out of industry and I wanted to, uh, uh, wanted to be in education. I work with a marvelous team of people, and, uh, uh, and I also sit on a lot of college committees, so I'm kind of connected with the context of our business. People will come to me when they have a project idea or they have some specific help and they don't know who they should talk to, and I can redirect them or if we've uh, just got some, some uh, issues to be dealt with. I can help uh, um, be a liaison between different, uh, different areas of the college or different uh, activities that are going on. Perfect place to be and we have great support from, from the, uh, the leadership in the college as well. I make things. I make a sculpture out of uh, metal, found metal and, and that sort of thing. Uh, it's one pastime. I also like to ride my bicycle and in my, uh, around my home there's lots of, lots of roads. I live in the country and uh, just to keep in shape. So those are two things that uh, are important to me. Um, I think one of the things I enjoy the most is uh, I'm able to work uh, with faculty. My role is to help faculty to integrate technology into their teaching and learning and their work with students. Um, combining the teaching and the technology together to assist faculty in the classroom is really a rewarding uh, experience. I uh, also enjoy uh, golf rela relaxation and I do a lot of photography, so those are sort of the main things. Um, Susan and I, of course, have been traveling quite a bit more recently, so that's also a I enjoy that very much as well. Well, uh, I develop applications, so websites, uh, web applications, online applications, I guess people refer to them quite often. Uh, so anything that has to do with the internet, okay, they could come and see me. If they need help with learning management system, they can come see me, okay, so WebCT. Uh, what I like about my job? <coughs> Variety. To do a couple of things at the same time you know during one day I get to you know do five ten different things sometimes from you know designing an application talking to people uh, solving them you know helping them solve their computer problems uh, LMS problems even troubleshooting their own computers actually which is fun as well so thanks Chris for that I get to do that too I get to do a variety of things and uh, and server management so dealing with hardcore backend kind of things you know um, a little bit of everything I love being up to date on, uh, on politics, okay? So I love news, I love playing with my kids, so I like uh, video production as well. People come to see us to either review or revise a, a course outline. We also get requests for mapping um, and we facilitate large group sessions or small team sessions. Right. Help with new program development. We often help with new program development. Durham's had a lot of new programs this year. Um, just to get a better understanding of curriculum and the lingo, because for a lot of uh, newer faculty, they don't really understand necessarily what the words mean, so we help with that, course learning outcomes, mm -hmm. essential employability skills. We see a lot of course learning outcomes. Mm -hmm work with a lot of teams, um, part of program review. We work with teams for program review to um, help them review their curriculum and have a look at their evaluations and see if they're lining up to their course learning outcomes. Sometimes we'll get a request for a specific curriculum issue like evaluation or um, how to design a particular type of rubric. So sometimes we'll work very closely with the learning specialist, uh, teaching and learning specialist. Um, to create a curriculum that aligns better with their course learning outcomes or program learning outcomes. The halls were incredibly uh, white and bare and, uh, and looked like a gallery without any um, work on them and we wanted to, to uh, add visual interest to, to, the, to the center and, uh, and also give a chance to expose some of the, uh, the artists we know who are staff around here so we've been slowly uh, finding uh, uh, 
uh, staff members, faculty, staff who are artists who want to show their work on a regular basis. We have a, a one artist per semester and it uh, really classes the place up and, and this just gives a visual appeal and another reason for people to come on in here to have a look. I guess the best thing I like about working here is just getting to uh, collaborate with faculty um, and, and the team here and um, being able to help them on anything that they're doing in terms of instructional technology, uh, which is something that I'm passionate about, so it's always good to uh, be able to work with faculty uh, doing projects like that. A lot of times it's WebCT related, um, but any kind of instructional technology pretty much is typically what I'll uh, meet with faculty and help them with. Um, and also things like the development of online and hybrid courses, which we're just sort of getting into. So typically that's what faculty would come to see me for. Yeah, so as you can see, these are the pictures I have in my office. Um, yeah, his stuff is pretty cool. I like jazz music, and um, so they're nice and colorful, and yeah, it's kind of fun to have brighten it up a little bit in here. I've been here for about uh, three years now. I started actually while I was still a student here in second year. Um, I was a multimedia assistant and basically stuck on throughout the semester in third year. And then afterwards, I was able to get a position filling in as the multimedia specialist. If you want to change things up, like uh, Finding students are struggling to grasp a specific concept and maybe you want to think of a new creative way to deliver that message, be it through video examples or making a game or just some sort of content delivery. Um, I can help you out and we'll figure out what's feasible, what we can come up with, and then make it. When I started in this position, um, it was commented that my office is really barren compared to uh, the previous person that had this position. Uh, so other than the meandering of paper and cables that are now littering my desk, uh, I decided to spruce it up with a bit of personal touch by adding a drawing I did of my friend Brian holding a can of baked beans and pineapple chunks. Uh, I just feel it really ties the room together. We're multimedia students here at Durham College and we're working for the cafe this summer as multimedia assistants. Well, uh, next year we're going to be going into our third year so we're just looking for experience this summer and the cafe department decided to give us a shot and we're helping them out. Uh, it's great for experience of course since we're in the multimedia course working with video editing, audio editing, uh, flash, um, bits of code for either HTML or action script, all that. So great experience gained from uh, working at CAFE. We're going to be helping the faculty out with innovative ways to deliver content, such as, you know, things in multimedia, or videos, different learning curves that way. I've been the teaching and learning specialist here in the Innovation Centre for just over three years now in anything to do with teaching and learning, whether it's deciding uh, what content should be in their courses, so sort of curriculum questions, or how to deliver that content, how to help students learn the content, how to set up an activity-based kind of uh, delivery, uh, how to manage a classroom, how to evaluate student learning, how to get student uh, feedback on their own teaching, how to write tests, anything at all to do with teaching and learning, I'm here to uh, talk that through and help support it and then refer people to my colleagues here in the Enrichment Centre for specific development, whether it's educational technology or multimedia. Some of the people who've been to the Enrichment Centre have seen my paintings on the wall, so I'm a pastel painter as well, and I teach pastel painting, and I'm very active in the arts community in the Lakes Cougog area, and uh, really enjoying that. That's my retirement plan when I, when I finally retire, which is not in the very near future because I like my job too much. <laughs> <laughs>